Welcome to Northwest Adventure Rentals. This video will help give you a better understanding of the electrical systems in your rental unit. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how the electrical systems work. Understand the differences between 12 volt and 110 volt and how to appropriately manage your power use while out on your adventure. Thanks for watching. The RV you're renting has two onboard electrical systems, a 110 volt system like a house and a 12 volt system like a car. These two systems work together to power all the electrical components of the RV. The 12 volt system uses automotive style batteries to provide short term power for basic systems when your RV is not plugged into a 110 volt supply at a campsite. The 110 volt system only works if you're plugged in at a campsite. This system provides the extra power needed for major appliances that consume more power. This system also converts power to charge the 12 volt batteries when plugged in at the campsite. When understood and used properly, these two systems will keep everything running smoothly and help to ensure an enjoyable vacation. For the best rental experience, we recommend planning ahead and always reserving a campsite with a 110 volt supply. The batteries that power the 12 volt system have a limited capacity, and the more you use it, the faster it will drain. If you're plugged into a 110 volt supply, then the batteries will always stay charged. When the RV is not connected to a 110 volt supply, proper battery management is critical to an enjoyable vacation. Dead 12 volt batteries can cause failure in systems like the refrigerator, furnace, leveling system, propane and carbon monoxide detectors, lights, slide outs, awning, water pump, and more. Therefore, it's important to know the state of your batteries and to keep the 12 volt system charged as much as possible. To check the battery levels, use the monitor panel located inside your RV, like this. If the batteries are getting low, you can charge them by plugging the RV into a 110 volt outlet. It's important to ensure the batteries are charged before you go to bed at night. The reason for this is because you don't want the fridge, furnace, or propane leak detectors to stop working in the middle of the night. Please also note that the fan for the furnace is the largest consumer of 12 volt power. So on a cold winter night, this may drain the battery more quickly than normal. In addition, using too many lights in the evening can also drain the batteries. If you do not have a campsite with a 110 volt supply, we highly recommend bringing along a portable generator. Even a small one will help keep the batteries charged and make your trip more enjoyable. Unlike the 12 volt system, the 110 volt system will not work without an outside power supply. The 110 volt system powers the television, air conditioner, microwave, and of course the household style 110 volt outlets. The 110 volt system on your RV requires 30 amps and has a plug in that looks like this. So you'll want to be sure to get a campsite that has a 30 amp 110 volt supply. We do provide an adapter like this that will allow you to plug into a 15 amp supply, but it's important to note that this will not allow you to run the air conditioner. Doing so could overheat the adapter or even damage the air conditioner or other systems. Once at your campsite, plug into the 30 amp outlet. Then be sure to turn on the circuit breaker at the campsite plug-in. You can verify the power is properly connected by looking at the microwave. If the clock is on, you have 110 volt power. Finally, here are a couple of helpful tips before we wrap things up. Too many RVs at a campsite may reduce available power which can cause some appliances or outlets not to work as they should. Also, if you have devices such as a CPAP machine that must run overnight, it's critical that you have a 110 volt connection, so please plan accordingly. Now you know how the electrical systems work and how to effectively manage the power for your RV rental. Be sure to watch all the videos in the list for your rental unit, and we'll look forward to sending you out on your next adventure. We'll see you soon. Have more questions? We're here for you. Give us a call at 1-855-745-9816.